This is my Mother's Day video to my mother in Ilya, New York, Sharon Matthews, two hours. I didn't get her a, a present. You know, I'm not cheap. I just didn't get around to it. <laughs> but I wanted to uh, share with her what I really feel and uh, have learned to appreciate what she has given me as a, now a 55-year-old grown man. And you know, you think back when you get older because you know, you got, uh, I feel you got more uh, yesterdays than you do tomorrows. Everyone goes, oh, you'll live to 100. Oh, bullshit. People die at 75. So I don't know what I'm going to do or say, but this, uh, I love you, Mom, and Happy Mother's Day. And I'm just like the king of bullshit. I love you, Mom. 1962, I guess I was a little baby. I started out with a little baby guitar. If I had to take what I, my parents gave me, my dad, my dad and mom are both good. This isn't a perfect. They didn't raise no damn perfect kid, trust me. But they always let me be me. And that just meant so much to me. They, every time I had a dream or, or an ambition, they said, go with it. When I quit my federal job to sell on eBay, they didn't say, don't do that. They let me do it. And I succeeded and been blessed, but I worked and earned for it. So as I look back, little Eddie, I think she told me once it took her like a year to like me. And I said, you had me. She said, yeah, I know. So here's 65. I'm getting a little bit older now. I got a little bit bigger guitar. So I just winged this video, you know, I thought of a couple things to say, but you know, I don't know, I have like a tension span of four seconds, for real. And uh, mom, you know, I think back, she gave me these shoes that I wore, baby beavers, 99 cents. You know, I show people this, this means like everything to me, that somebody would save something. We all save stuff for our kids, but your kids, my grandkids, they had 80 pairs by this age. Back then, oh shit, let's, let's get the feet straight. I do keep my shoes on. The Baby Beavers, 4962, that I wore. You gotta keep them laying around. This is what my bedroom used to look like. They always, I had a Lugwood drum set, Bob Treen's in the, in the bedroom. But my mother, my parents, she was always supportive of, her, of me. And it's so great that the tough love they gave me. Tough love is better, than, in my opinion, than most sweet love. I want to thank you, Mom, for all that. Because there comes a time where you've got to be not a parent. You've got to be a discipliner. God will discipline you. Why shouldn't your parents? So, as we continue on, my mother gave me, uh, I guess I could say, the love of cats. I got one cat 15 years. That's the only female fur ball that ain't gave me a headache in 15 years. They supported me in my bad drinking days. I put on this hat because I like being a weirdo. 
I ain't no damn cop. I like cops. But my mother don't go, why you got that on? My mother was never controlling. And I love that. And uh, I, I give credit to my parents. You know, I, I took a, quit a federal job to sell on eBay. And whoever dreamed, you know, I have people like this as my friends. I have some other, I guess you call them famous people. But this one is the truest, normalest person living that's famous. And I don't care how much money he's got. Unless he owes me money, which uh, has been the case. So, because of my mother, I am so blessed. I'm in the bedroom. This is uh, the house that I own. It's got a bed here. It's another story. I got stuff all over the place. Whoever thought I'd be playing a 5300% Fender Deluxe Amp? Reverb with the hang tags. 1963 Strat, 100%, big fat neck. SRV played to death. My mom and dad had a big part of that. And I can say, love you, I love you both. I know it's Mother's Day, but you know, it'll just kill two birds with one stone. present, I'd have saved like 20 bucks. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs>